So you've set up one of your very own recipes in paprika and you've added loads of inline photos so you can share it with a friend and show them exactly what all the stages of cooking should look like. And then you click on that lovely share button in paprika app only to discover that it only shares the thumbnail photo. Oh no. Well, don't worry, because I've found a way that you can share all of those photos and still email that recipe over to your friend. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it on the iPad. So let's do it. So let's start with a quick reminder on how to add inline images to paprika. So you might already have a thumbnail image on your recipe. And then in order to get some inline images, we need to start by adding some photos. So click on photos and then click on the plus sign in the top right to get into your photo library or the camera. And here for this Sagalu recipe, I've already got a little album here that I can select some images from. And what I'm doing is selecting some images that I think will help my friend be able to see what she's kind of looking for as she cooks this new recipe. So I'm selecting a couple of images of the potatoes and what it looks like when I've added some water so that she can see that. And then she can see what it looks like when I've added the chard and then a final image. But what I want to do with those photos is get them now into the inline section, into the directions in the right place. So I'll just move the cursor into the bit of text where I want to add the image and then I'll select the little camera button and then select the image that I want in. So let's do all of them so you can see that. So I want to add this image where I've said water to loosen. That's always a bit confusing, isn't it? And so I've added in the photo under there. And at this stage, they just show as text, photo one, photo two. But you'll see in a moment what happens when we save these off. So there's the other photos all added. So I'm just pressing the camera button, selecting. And now I'll save off the recipe so that we can see what this looks like on the recipe card itself and there it is so we've now got some key photos in line that we can click on and make bigger as we do recipes this is super handy and you can inspire someone by showing them a lovely picture at the end of what it's looking like so I love that so now I want to email this to my friend so I've clicked on the three dots and the email and then as you can see there are none of the inline photos showing, which is really disappointing. So let's do it another way. So this time, let's select the print menu. And once you've opened print, just check through and make sure all photos is selected in the photos section. Otherwise, you'll only get the thumbnail. And once you've got that, you can select your printer and then here's the clever bit. What you need to do on the iPad is pinch out on that first image. And as you pinch out, you will see that the document opens up and what that's actually doing on iOS is making it into a PDF. So then click on your share sheet as normal and you can click on email and then send off your recipe as a PDF with all all of the images in it off to your friend and what your friend will get on the other end is a lovely PDF so that you can swap recipes and have a bit of fun and we all need a bit of that in these times don't we and if you'd like to see more of what paprika app can really do for you take a look at this playlist and I'll see you in the next one